hello good morning everyone today in this video we're going to discuss about watchdog a python package so upon hearing that name that is watchdog some might think what is the use of these packages so i'll come to it so before that when you're developing a module or when you are working with odoo you know that if you make any changes inside the python file obviously we have to restart the service for getting that changes into the system so how about automating that restarting of the service if there is any changes occurred inside the python file so for that purpose we will use this package that is watchdog so in this video we will see how we will use watchdog python packages along with odoo and detect the changes inside the python files automatically and restart the service so in my system i have already installed the python package that is watchdog so if i go to the official website of the python you can see this is the package that i am talking about so you can just pip install watchdog so if i go to my terminal you can see i have already sudo pip3 install watchdog so i have already successfully installed the watchdog library in my system so that's done so that's done so if i go to pycharm and along with the parameters that is you can see minus c odoo.conf along with that i have given to colon day dev equal to reload has been given i'll click on ok now i will just restart the service there is nothing and so let's see here if you can see in the um, log file you can see watching add-ons folder you can see four folders are under watching that is add-ons custom and odoo add-ons is under watching so let's see how this package detects the changes and automatically reload the service so here i have already hospital management module installed in the database and if i go to the front end database this is the appointments model here we have a button that is delete that is you can see button type equal to object and methodic method is delete underscore lines so on clicking this you all know the functionality is that this will remove the lines we have added here in the doctor prescription tab so i'll just show you an example case so right now i'll click on delete button you can see on clicking delete button the things are getting deleted now i'll go to the pycharm and this is that corresponding function which deletes the one to many lines so i'll just comment this line so what happens so to get that effect into the change what i have to need to do is that i have to reload the service but here i am not reloading the service as i have already installed the watchdog and configured it with odoo so let's see if i go and click on the delete button again you can see trying to reconnect so if i click on again you can see hospital dot appointment has no attribute delete lines so what because we are coming it out and we haven't restart the service and there is no need to restart service now i will uncomment it so after uncommenting it i'm not changing anything i'm not restarting the service the watchdog will detect it automatically and it will reload the service now i will go to the front end and just click on the button that is when while earlier when we click on this button we get that the model has no attribute delete lines so let's see what happens if we click on it again so if i click on it again there is no errors so that's how watchdog works so if you need to print something so i'll just make change here instead of rec i'll print roommates I'm not restarting the service i just make changes inside the python files and i'll go front end and click on this button again you can see it's like itself yeah i'll click on once again trying to connect and click on delete button again and you can see instead of rec automates is get printed without any restarting of the service so what we have done is we have installed this package that is watchdog so you can use pip install watchdog or you can install pip3 install watchdog you can install it accordingly if the version is python odoo 10 you can install pip2 install watchdog so once after that is done along with the parameters if i take them as i am using pycharm i'll go to edit configuration here you can see along with the parameters that is minus c con file just this is added that is to colon dev equal to reload is given so that's all about how you can automatically sense the changes inside the python files and restart the service so that's all about this video if you like our videos please subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for notification thank you